Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. You should have dressed warmer. <laughs> Next you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Indusfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. They barely sprouted whispers. Yet in the grind they left. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out. To get help. To get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole. Ingvar. Little Nagy. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables, but craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else, anything at all? Only that she seemed tired, very tired, and and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor. And his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skelligan. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelligan. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm, know the type. 
They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Orkvark sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar, son. Einar. He was in the garden when Morgvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Marvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. Hey, Geralt. Come back. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. That must be Morgvark. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. <coughs> Shank! Not, not again! Not again! <coughs> He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. 
go already. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Light Prince, Craven trod carefully. something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> face. Did you find something? The trail leads right to a locked door. I think you can get around it. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Dead. 
for a while. Yen, found it. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Ciri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to- Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. Sorry to bother you with my doubts. Please, Geralt. That's just it. Your please is never a request, only ever a command. But let's move on. Let's get to work. Selene, Dufrain! Selene, Selene, Davidar! of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell! Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. 
I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. this? Did you undress me? Uh, I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm -hmm. And if my breasts needed smearing with fox tallow? Nay, nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honour. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. Help. Help me stand. I don't... I don't think you should... The less talk, the more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl... You was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on! That man in the mask? He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ha! Ah. I know! I see a story shining around in Thailand. Blaming would go that one. I just squint from the door. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so.
storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Tell her that. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I. I hope. My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Watch out! Right, silly! Don't look back! Shut up!
became of that creature? Where is he? Stop! What? I saw him and stolen! But he sold him! To whom? No! No! Be gone! It's to uh, tell them in my name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs> It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth. Or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think 
Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden, I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Last night too. You're a you, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel haul you. Got a minute. Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, oh, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run. Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. 
Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Oh. Got me Ooh. on you. Did you sever his head? Head of a jam from your mind. Ramond, where's the key? All I have in the chapter house, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you horse son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! You cannot hide your stench. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst, not uh, the garden uh, to which I'm bound, even, but uh, the hunger, uh, anything I devour turns to ash, ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my throat, throat, like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred you! Rip you limb from limb! See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. <laughs> See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. All but one. True treasure. Hid away. 
not yours. Just help me. Farewell. See you soon. It's open, but nothing's happening. fell through the crevice years ago. It's open, but nothing's happening. face.
Greetings, praise Freya. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvog's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Our son should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself. Until Morkvark gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I've raided often and cruelly, killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. But priestesses, it was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Morkvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolfang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop-pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Once Morkvog's human again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. Ooh. You! No choice. Here we are again. Do you kind God endless or release me? This on. I need uh, no more fangs. Uh, Don't be a smart ass, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. No. A side of beef. Uh, uh, wash it down with a cask of ale. Ah, uh, then to see. <laughs> they forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad, everywhere. Ha! <laughs> I'm back! Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen, you'll go to Novigrad, to the bits. Find the vulture, the moneylender. Tell him Morkvark sends his regards, and you'll know me to be a generous man. Farewell then. The sea beckons. Arr!
with us one more week. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Greetings. What have you got to pawn, and how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time, and you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Morkvarg sends his regards. I don't know him. Never laid eyes on him. Oh. Well, watch it. Whoa, what a sword. Watcher? I see and right. Yes. Got work for me? If you're willing. Some manner of evil prowls about. Got us scared to venture out of the village. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Mustered a crew and... Only four came back, the rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads, heads full of fire but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere? Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there, by that hut. This garden of all places, what vile blasphemy. Which work there? Oh, has dirty ass to She's from Nilfgaard. Oh, there 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 oh. From oh, ask this witcher. He'll tell you monsters don't set traps. What's the issue? Ye or anyone ever heard of a beast setting a wagon in the road? Been waiting in ambush. They're too plain dumb for that, damn it. Dumb or no, they tore a few of our lads to shreds, and we ran like rats. They deserve to be buried. Really thought you could take on this monster on your own? We had to try. If we didn't, who would? 
think Larvik's some kind of getaway for mutants? Witchers stopping in every week? Willing to talk about it? Tell me what happened? Ask away. Remember what the monster looked like? It were dark. Casper thought he saw something, but... Because I did? It was huge. It's maw all blood smeared. Bugger gutted Ungi with one claw. Near spliced him in two. Where it is, you were ambushed. Tell me where. Short way from here. Long the road to Lofoten. Saw a wagon crosswise the road near the woods. We barely got to it when something came rushing through the underbrush and whoosh. Blood spurted in me eyes. I wiped it away, looked, saw Einar lying dead. Hmm, interesting. Thanks. Huh, for what? Here we the flock, he'd whittle. Was finishing a fleet, and the wolves came. By Moorhog's rates? Oh! Looks like blood, but... Hmm. Red clay. Hmm. Not much left. Beast must have dragged the shredded body to the woods. Creature leading the Neckers is sentient. Gotta be capable of setting primitive traps, at least. I got company.
have developed an immunity to the toxin. Now the poison protects their nest. Clever. Move it! So will you help then? Killed the beast that was troubling you. Merciful Freya. Horson's finally dead. <laughs> now, tell us, was it a tough fight? Got any wounds, need dressing? No, I'll be all right. Ah, uh, nothing new to the likes of you. Hard work, witchering. All right. Your reward. This here's for you. Thanks. So long. Geralt of Rivia, our hero. Oh, <laughs> great and mighty. Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us. No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. We show our foes, we show our axe. Remember that. Hey, where are you going? Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful, and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. Afterglow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here, for you. Thanks. Farewell. Got me eye on you.
Black me hot to bug up. One. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His book strongly suggests he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power, and that could be useful to us one of these days. Alright, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Can you swing an axe? Mm. Huh. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. What do you witchers do once there are Come, the landing's not... The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Alright, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Jin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was bright. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant to be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. Not about you mocking my every mistake. Care for what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't rightly see why I shouldn't laugh at their amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. 
It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. of drowned crew that made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. talking about the gym. Have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in deep Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Be careful. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn, bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler, Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, but when you were looking for the Golden Dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail, me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life, you gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking, rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. There's something on the bottom. Let's see what it is.
see something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Illivade. Exactly in half. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Should belong to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this, but whatever cut the basket probably could. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three! You said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jin's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half it from the top. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing here.
We should explore the ship. Interesting mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Mage must have slept here. I wonder what this means. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. I wonder what this means. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Cold's preserved the corpse. Hmm. Died from head trauma. Bookcase cracked his skull. Must have been a hard landing atop this mountain. A bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rif kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et displayer. Gevered me castle.
Chu. Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity, or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. No. Do you see the spell that binds us? No. Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. It's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, I never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm... I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise he might feel compelled to remind you. Don't have the slightest intention of doing that. Well, I can't force you. Yen, 
What happened back there? Was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. <laughs>